After you create an app with an app wizard or install a K2 Smart Starter app in your K2 environment, you do have the ability to use K2 Designer to make changes to an app's workflow, smart objects, views, and forms if your business need calls for it. In this demonstration, I'm going to make an update to the document approval app wizard application that I have already installed in my K2 environment, which you can see listed in the favorite apps workspace here on my screen. To edit a form for this application, we can switch over to K2 Designer, which I do have open on another tab in my browser here. To get down into the location where this app was created, we can click on the Browse button to bring up the All Items category structure for this environment. Let's make a note here. When you create an app from one of the three App Wizard template options, K2 will create them under the Submit for Approval category, the Send a Survey category, or the Create and Edit Lists category. These categories line up with the Approval, Survey, and List Collaboration template style apps on the new app screen when you create an app. Also, the Smart Starter apps will be installed under the Apps K2 Smart Starters category structure in a similar fashion. I'm going to edit a form for the Document Approval app which we can find installed under the Submit for Approval category under All Items. I'll open that up and go down into the Document Approval Application category for this app. Notice K2 organizes all the K2 elements for this app, like Forms, Views, Smart Objects, and Workflows down into their own folders, essentially. You can edit any of the elements from here as needed. I'm going to open up the Forms category and go down to the Document Approval Application Submit form and select it. Just like any other application, we will need to check this form out before we can make any changes to it. You can either right click on the form and select Checkout from the menu options, or you can select Checkout from the list of options over in the middle of the page. I'll click on the Checkout option for now, then click Edit to open up the form. Remember, my changes to this form will not be visible to users until I've checked them back in. Notice with this form, we get all the same edit options available when building a custom application. You can edit layout, parameters and rules, you can drop new views within this form, or even add buttons and other controls as needed. You can also select a theme and configure various other properties if necessary. For this form, let's just drop a simple label control under the form header view. Then we can add the following text that just talks about time limit and expectations for how long it will take for a document to be reviewed. Perhaps this application has something to do with knowledge base article reviews, or maybe an organization that is accepting articles for publication in a journal. Whatever the case, I can also edit the style for this text to make it stand out a bit more. I'll do that by opening the Styles Configuration setting and select Italic from the Style drop-down list. That looks good. Oh, and I should also put a check in the Wrap Text setting for this label so that we get all the text on the form. We should be good with that. One last update I'll make for this form, just for demonstration purposes, is to change the theme. By selecting outside the view areas, I can then set the theme option to the lithium theme. From here, I'll click finish to save this update back to K2. I'll also check it in so that my users can see these changes. Let's review this change by going back over to the app that is running in my other tab in the favorite apps workspace. I'll click on the submit new request form here. And there you can see the submission note shows up right where we put it just below the header view. In review, remember that you have the ability to make changes like this to all of the applications that you install or create within the apps area using K2 Smart Starters and App Wizards.